Hi, Kevin. Thanks for having me. Thank you for having me. Um, I'm going to start by saying some of these questions and points were addressed earlier today, and thank you very much for discussing uh, the UHS situation, I guess, You're welcome. earlier. <clears throat> well, it's been 35 days since a personnel policy, since a personal policy of an employee of the Suffolk City School District was carried out on the kids of UHS. In the past 35 days, the district and the board have taken action to resolve this failed policy. Through minor policy changes, a few public apologies to the district spokesperson, and the delivery of the cupcakes to the UNTA kids. Unfortunately, what is more glaring than these corrective actions is the head-shaking decisions that, board, that the board and the district have taken in the past 35 days. Placing a frontline worker on administrative leave for following district orders and subsequently bringing this employee back into a hostile work environment where threats and intimidation appear to be the norm. RFPs put forth that suggested acceptance of very gray area policies that are tolerated by board leadership and the circling of wagons to protect the currently unequal board structure that has clearly been promoted and allowed to flourish for years. However, as we know, we can pull the I'm sorry, however, as we know, good can be pulled from the ineptness of bad. A very public spotlight is being shown on this district and many of the elected board members. The light that is being shown has revealed much of the character of the parties involved. It is revealing a culture of fear and protection of itself, where the board members appear to be abdicating the trust and authority we as voters granted them to the bureaucracy of the superintendent and the district. Who is the board out looking out for? The ones with very little voice in this matter, the kids of our district, or the superintendent and the district they are charged to provide policy? I can tell you as a parent of two kids in the district that appears many on this board have lost some perspective and are far less attuned to the needs of the kids in this district and more attentive to the machinations of the superintendent. Your actions have created an air of mistrust for your community and, and border on outright neglect. When presented with the opportunity to accept responsibility for the actions of the district, of, of its actions, the district and superintendent, and many on this board have failed us, your community, your teachers, and most importantly, the kids of this district. And the question I have here is why if we're investigating what happened in the lunchroom? Why are we not investigating the superintendent where this decision I feel came from? Thank you for your time. Thank you, Kevin.